Oliver, today Vivendi, the French media and telecoms company, announced that it's selling its stake in um, Activision Blizzard, the games company behind World of Warcraft. Um, why is Vivendi doing this for a start? Well, for a long time, Vivendi's been seen as a, a breakup candidate. It's a French media conglomerate. It owns, um, amongst other things, SFR, a, a telecoms operator, and Canal Plus and Universal Music. And there's been various calls to, to break it up to, to reduce the conglomerate discount at which it shares trade. So this is very much a part of that. Slightly surprising because Vivendi had always said it wants to focus on uh, media and content, and uh, computer games certainly count as media and content. Um, but nevertheless, it's decided that this is one of the things it wants to get rid of. It's not selling it entirely. It's retaining a 12% stake, but certainly the vast majority of its stake is being sold. Okay, and Activision Blizzard is, is doing the, the buyout, and it's sort of eight billion is the valuation on this. I, is that a good deal? Well, it's a slight discount to the share price, and some of the analysts are grumbling that they've given up control of Activision Blizzard, but they've, they've not got a premium for that at all. No, far from it. They've got a discount. Um, but perhaps they needed to, to get that sort of pricing to, to get the deal away and to make sure it happened. Um, it's going mostly to the company itself, but also to a consortium of management and other investors. So you can quibble on the pricing, but the, there's been a lot of criticism that Vivendi has been dragging its heels over its restructuring. And this really gets things moving in combination with a, a deal earlier in the week where it said it's in exclusive talks to sell its stake in Morocco Telecom, another telecoms business. So finally, we're seeing the wheels starting to turn at Vivendi. OK, so you're saying this is really a start. Um, what's next then? I mean, what do they need to lose to get rid of that discount? And will this be enough um, to get rid of that discount? Well, the, the, big, the big one is SFR, the telecoms company, and uh, the company has said that they're looking at uh, potentially demerging it. They're doing a feasibility study to see if it would work. Um, there's a lot of question marks over that, particularly how much debt they would leave the telecoms company with, how much debt they keep with, what's left, the, the universal music and, and Canal Plus part. So there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of questions, but that's the direction that they're moving. But unless they actually do that, I, I don't think the conglomerate discount is going to change very much. Okay, so overall this represents a step in the right direction for Vendi by getting rid of um, Activision Blizzard, or at least a lot of it, but it doesn't go far enough and we'll have to look out for the next moves um, for Vendi. Thanks, Oliver.